Hi, my name is Chris. Welcome to the Everyman's Auto Video Car Diary. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about cars. Uh, I write for a website called everymansauto.net. I also contribute to another website called Gas, the number two, gas2.org. Uh, gas2.org is alternative stuff, and Everyman's Auto is just whatever car I can find that I want to drive that week. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to tell you about a car um, that I've driven recently, and we'll go from there. Not everybody likes to read the stuff. Some people want to watch videos, and I figured there isn't enough awkwardness on the Internet, so why not go ahead and put myself out there as well. Now, the car we're going to talk about today is the 2014 Jaguar F-Type V8S. Hmm, long name. It's like when, uh, whenever Benedict Cumberbatch finally wins an Academy Award, he will be now known as Academy Award winner Benedict Cumberbatch. And they'll probably knight him, too, so it'll be Academy Award winner Sir Benedict Cumberbatch. Anyway, v <laughs> Jaguar F-Type V8S. I'm sorry, I ramble. I teach middle school. It's what I do. So, there are three models for the F-Type. You have your base model, which starts at $69,000. It has a supercharged V6 that makes 340 horsepower. does 0 to 60 in like 5.2 or 5.1 seconds. It's quick. You have a mid-level, which is the, the F-Type S, also a supercharged V6. I think that one turns out 380 horsepower, uh, and your 0 to 60 time is like 4.5, 4.8, something like that. It's quick. The top of the line is the F-Type V8S. You get a 5-liter supercharged V8 that makes 495 horsepower and 460 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it's the, the same 5-liter motor that goes between all the Jaguars and the Land Rovers and the Range Rovers. So it's a good reliable engine. It's stuff that's actually been used quite a bit. It's been perfected. It's not going to totally ruin it for you. Excuse me. Now, the, the engines are great. The best part of the car by far is the exhaust note. Even for the V6 and the V8, the exhaust note on both of them is fantastic. It sounds magical. The, the V6, uh, the exhaust is these twin kind of blunderbuss looking uh, tubes right in the middle of the car in the back. Um, if you don't know what a blunderbuss is, it's like a primitive shotgun that the pilgr pilgrims might have used to ward off wolves. We, we'll say wolves and not Indians. Well, they, they tried to avoid, never mind. They made friends with the Indians. Everyone knows that. So, uh, it's kind of a tenor note out of the, the supercharged V6. It's loud, it's loud, it burbles, it pops, it boils. It does all the things you want the exhaust to do, just at a higher octave scale. I don't know if that's actually a musical term. I don't play any instruments because I... S not good at playing musical instruments. Uh, the V8 note is these four, you get two on either side, these four kind of tilted slightly upwards, like they're, they're, they're directing the noise right to the car behind them, uh, cylindrical tubes on the outside. They look like the cannons from like a World War II fighter aircraft, just, just dive bombing U-boats and eh, that's what these, these look like. So to any, of, any of the cars that get too close behind you, it, the, the noise will be going directly at the car behind them, which I kind of I like the, the thought of that, of, of, of shooting my exhaust note at them. The note itself is, is a deep baritone. It, 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 bur it burbles, it pops, it boils. It sounds fantastic. When you're really when you're really driving the V8S hard, you get the supercharged whine up front. And you can hear that. You get the the engine noise itself of a V8, and then you get the exhaust note from behind it. And he kind of just wraps you in this warm, loving, mechanical sounding hug of just love and magic. It's it's fantastic. It's so good. It sounds great. I, it's it's a car that if I had more time with it. I would I would just drive all the time. I would be in the wrong gear all the time. It does have an eight-speed quick shift transmission. It's got paddles. I didn't play with them a lot. I I, I didn't get into how fast that 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 shift is um, because I had limited time with the car. It wasn't my car. I was borrowing it, um, and so because I was borrowing it, I probably didn't drive it as hard as I should have. The interior, fantastic. It's leather everywhere. Uh, the stitching matches the seat belts. You can, you can do all of that kind of crazy option stuff. Um, the, the controls on the steering wheel were great. The paddles were good. There's a, an oh crap bar in like kind of the, on the right side of the center console for the for their your lady friends. Um, they have your your seat adjusters are up on the door on on both sides. Um, both those seats are power seats. Um, they have a little knob that you can use uh, to control the bolstering for 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 you. And for your lady friends, obviously, or your guy friends, I don't care, I'm not judging. Um, you have three memory settings on the door, so if you want one to just be like, I'm cruising around town, that's cool. But then you could have like 
two be for your wife if she drives it, and three could be like, all right, I'm going to whip the car, and I've got that my bolstering set more aggressively on three. Just reach over, pop three, see changes in there. You are, you're, and you can just go ahead and flick on dynamic mode as well. Um, dynamic mode does not turn on; it is confirmed when you when you press the the toggle down on dynamic mode. Dynamic mode confirmed. Um, if I had a British accent, I'd use it right there. I don't, so I won't. Um, you can also put it in rain, snow, and ice mode. That gets confirmed. Um, just about anything you do uh, in the car gets confirmed. It's not turned on. I, li I like that a lot. It's just something different. We're sitting in the car today. It's kind of rainy out. Um, we were hoping to do, the reason we're doing this today is because we were hoping to drive another two-seat uh, Roadster today, but the weather just hasn't cooperated, cooperated with us. We, we were lucky to get the F-Type in when we did. Um, it has just been pissing rain the last three days. Um, to the point where we're talking flood situations, and here's flood footage. We're going to try and do more of these as I drive stuff, as I see stuff. Um, we're not going to just do it randomly when I see stuff, but as I drive stuff, we'll try and do stuff like this. Uh, if you'd like to read anything that I've written, you can go to everymansauto.net. Um, we also have a YouTube channel that you're on now. My YouTube videos are okay. Um, the ones that basically are starts and revs are the best ones because you get to hear exhaust notes and you get to hear those cars. Um, I have an Instagram, Every Man's Auto. I have Facebook, Every Man's Auto. You can like us there. Some people who aren't even my friends have liked us there. That's kind of fun. Uh, and then I have the the Twitters that if you yeah you can find it. Um, that's all we have this week. I wanted to go one to two minutes and we're we're clocking in at about seven, six ish. Um, so, yeah, these are going to have to get shorter. We'll see you in the future, hopefully next week. Hopefully we drive something else that's fun. That's it. We'll talk to you later.